So I just got my Codex ZI-8 in the mail, and now I'm going to unbox it, and I'm going to give you a little bit of a show to see what it's like. This is my first time actually touching one and playing with it, so we'll do that, and then like I, I tell you in the video that I'll be doing a comparison between the flip, which I'm recording on now, and the Codex ZI-8, but that one shoots in HD, this one does not. So I'll shoot them both in standard and in box can... came in. Amazon.ca. Lots of air bubbles. Here it is. The Kodak ZI-8. Receipt. Full HD. 1080p. Ooh, it's fancy. Before we get into that, what else do we got in the box? Charger, charger for the removable battery. HDI cable, HDMI, or whatever you want to call them, cables. RCA cables. Adapters. Plugging in. Oh, this is a USB, so the battery doesn't come out to charge. It's just for the USB charger. Drawstring. Yeah, this is interesting. This is the oh, this is the charger. Oh, this is the battery. There you go. It's like good. Um, so we'll open up this. Uh, I'm filming this on a flip so you can't actually see the size comparison, but I will do a video later of the Kodak ZI-8 compared to the flip minnow. All this plastic on it. Take the plastic off. I like I like some of the control better. It, it'll be a lot... it's more can feel the buttons rather than on the flip it's touch more or less so we'll plug it in put the battery in I've and, uh, and, in. and I'm very impressed with it the the interface is very easy to use the one thing that I was I'm a little skeptical about and it's nothing big it's just it's something that it's me it's it's slightly thicker than the flip which which makes it slightly bit awkward to hold but I'm sure I'll get over that. It's very light too. It almost makes me feel like it's cheap, but it records. It obviously has some sort of internal memory. I haven't read anything, and you think I would have, but it takes five megapixel cameras. I have it on 1080p right now, but I'm sure that's going to heat it up really quickly if I uh, only have an 8 gig card in it. And I probably won't because I'll be producing most of this for online. But I like how the big screen, I like the, the way it navigates and the, the the settings functions. Although I was surprised that I have to actually take the SD card out. Oh no, that's not true. Totally forgot about this feature. It's on a bit of rubber there. It's it's like the flip. It slides out. You plug it in. I, I'm actually I actually kind of like that just because it's it's movable. You can bend it, and when you're done, you fold it back in, and then it's not even notice. But chances are because I have the internal memory card reader on my computer that I'll just take the SD card out every time I want to import because I'll also be using it in my camera. You need a uh, SDHC card, high capacity. I have a 4 gig and an 8 gig that I'm going to use. There is a uh, mount for a tripod there which I'm going to use quite a bit. And I will also be mounting a uh, wide angle lens on there when it arrives from Japan I think. So my next video should be the comparison between the flip and the Kodak ZI-8. Mind you, the Kodak shoots HD and the flip does not, but I will show you the quality for just normal standard video. See you later.